Hello Glow Up Squad, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. If you are new here, my name is Angelica. I'm sharing my healthy weight loss wellness journey online. Literally just trying to glow up and I'm going to show you guys what I got for groceries for this week of weight loss and a calorie deficit. First of all, a little fit check. You guys know I wear crazy things to my grocery pickup. It's like a game at this point. I'm wearing a pajama jumpsuit, leopard print obviously, this cute Adidas bucket hat that I found yesterday at Marshall's. Um, yeah, that's, that's all I'm wearing. <laughs> so this week's groceries are from Walmart. I have a simple meal plan this week. Let me give it to you. For breakfast, I am meal prepping waffles, eggs, and turkey sausage with blueberries. For lunch, I am having a bunch of ounces of grilled chicken because I'm trying to up my protein um, with some rice and some Brussels sprouts or green beans or something depending on the day and probably some cheese dip on the side because I just love cheese on everything. And then for dinner, we're gonna do vegetable soup. It's raining today, super rainy, muggy, like lazy Sunday vibes today. So yeah, <laughs> let's jump into the food. Ta-da, kind of a small haul again, even though <laughs> you wouldn't know that by the price of everything. First of all, I got some Ritz crackers. These are my favorite to have with like soup and chili. Please ignore my god awful nails. I'm fixing them today. So I got some of that to have with my veggie soup. I'm also using beef broth in my vegetable soup recipe and this lean ground turkey. 93.7, I'm gonna split it in half and use a pound of it and then freeze a pound of it later. It's more cost effective to buy it this way. I got some cottage cheese for no particular reason other than I just love it. I've been wanting it again lately, like constantly, so picked up some of that. I got some Parmesan because I actually have a spaghetti squash that I keep forgetting about and I need to cut it and cook it. So I also need to add that into my meal plan. We love variety. <laughs> got a fresh stick of deodorant um, that was dropped and has a crack in the lid now. This is my favorite deodorant. It smells so fresh. Um, it is aluminum free. It doesn't have any artificial fragrance, all of those good things. So this one is my favorite. Not sure why the camera is not focusing. All right, we fixed the focus. Look how beautiful it is now, wow. Also just some house things over here. I got the Cascade dishwasher pods and I got some Q-tips. One thing they sadly did not have this week was Lunchables. You guys know the drill. Lunchables are my number one obsession right now. They're just the best snack ever. You know, it's a good balance. It's easy. It's accessible. It's affordable. I love Lunchables. But the only one I really like is the turkey one. And they said they were out of stock of all of those. So, very sad Angelica today. No Lunchables. I got one of my favorite cheese dips, the Gordo's cheese dip. This stuff is legitimately so bomb. You just need to try it if you haven't. And that's probably what I'm gonna have with my lunch. Then I got some berries. They didn't have the one pound of strawberries, so they gave me the two pound for the same price, and I love that. I have some chocolate hummus I'll probably eat these with. Otherwise, I'm not sure how I'm gonna eat all of these before they go bad, but we're gonna try. Maybe I well, I was going to say I could do a smoothie, but I don't have any greens or anything, so we'll see what happens. Also got a huge container of blueberries, my obsession, my favorite fruit, basically. And I've been on such a coffee kick. If you've seen my Instagram at all, I'm literally going to Starbucks multiple times a week. <laughs> but I really want to have some protein coffee. I had to order the vanilla protein because they did not have caramel, which is so annoying. The caramel one is literally the best. I think I'm gonna order some from the Walmart website, like a bulk package. That way I can have it and it's, again, cheaper that way. I used to have the vanilla, so I don't think I'm gonna hate it. I just wish that they had the caramel one. And then I did get some decaf coffee to try. What is that? What is that in the coffee? Does anyone know? <laughs> This is medium roast. It smells amazing. If you're new here, me and caffeine do not mix at all. 
I actually feel like it's gotten worse recently. Like, I just can't handle any amount of caffeine, period. Um, don't know what all that's about, but I got some decaf coffee. It's not cold brew, but I'm thinking I don't mind having it warm. I just don't know how to mix. I'm just not sure how I'm going to do this, <laughs> but we're going to see. I can always make this and let it sit out and put ice in it. I really like cold coffee, like normally anyways, but we'll see what happens. And then over here, I have this really nasty, slimy, wet pack of chicken as usual. I'm not looking forward to dealing with it today. <laughs> and then of course, over here, I have my husband's special requests for the week. <laughs> Coke cereal his favorite thing to eat corn muffins because he really likes those with like soups and stuff milk and deodorant Ta -da. so there is my little grocery haul and some details on the meal plan this week all right i had a short um grocery haul today so i figured why not just combine the grocery haul and the meal prep? I'm going to try to do a super quick meal prep for the week. I'm getting started right now. First, I'm going to put some eggs on my little egg maker. This thing is the best kitchen gadget ever. I always have it linked in the description. So I'm going to do some eggs. Then I'm going to get some rice going. I'm going to get some chicken going. Uh, oh, there's a squirrel on my line, my electric line outside. Is that what it's called? Anyways, let's get meal prepping. With my eggs for breakfast, I'm going to have some of these um, butterball turkey sausages. So I'm going to go ahead and pop those in the microwave. With the eggs and sausage, I'm also going to have some waffles. So I'm just going to take a third a cup of this Kodiak cake mix with a third a cup of water. So I'm just going to mix that together and throw it in my waffle maker. We are multitasking today. I feel like I'm in the Master Chef kitchen. I'm trying to go so fast. <laughs> Um, so while my waffles are going, I'm going to go ahead and I have a pound of ground turkey here. I'm going to add some minced onion, as well as some Mrs. Dash seasoning, and some salt and pepper. Like a lot of pepper. Okay, the eggs are done. Got my eggs in an ice bath now. They're gonna be ready in no time. This is literally my favorite thing ever. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on the stove top here. I'm just gonna pair it with some chicken and veggies. Alright, I've got my waffles done. I'm going to throw in three of those sausage links into my containers. Some of the waffles came out looking a little funky because I didn't have my waffle iron on the right temperature, so just ignore that. <laughs> Look at the pretty ones. Alright, I'm throwing some chicken in the pan to grill. I have Cajun seasoning, steak seasoning, salt, pepper, a little bit of butter, olive oil, and I feel like something else. I think that's all. So Cajun, steak seasoning, sea salt, pepper, butter, and I'm going to add some fresh garlic here in a minute. All right, I'm ready to work on my vegetable soup over here, which is like the easiest thing ever. I'm going to add a can of Patisse Petite, <laughs> petite diced tomatoes. I would probably add two cans of this if I had it, but I don't, so it's fine. And then I'm gonna add two cans of mixed vegetables and one can of mixed vegetable medley. The difference is this one has little chunks of potato in it. That's really the only difference. I used to make this soup for zero points on Weight Watchers by just using these ones that don't have potatoes. I also have some celery pieces that I froze. I'm gonna add that in there just so I have some fresh celery and that way I don't throw it away. I'm adding minced onion, 
some original Mrs. Dash and some more salt and pepper. I haven't meal prepped this fast and forever and my kitchen smells so good. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in with this beef broth. Um, I'm gonna try to make sure it covers the top. Probably gonna use all of it. I have the urge to add tomato paste, but I think I'm gonna leave it for now. Um, and I'm gonna let it cook on low for eight hours. That is the best way to do it. But I'm gonna throw in just a couple of these bay leaves on top. I'm gonna add half a cup of rice to my lunch containers. Now I'm gonna shake the shells off of my boiled eggs and put those in my breakfast containers. This literally works so well. One of them is completely open. I think I may have busted one though. It's fine. I have an uneven number of eggs because one of them came out not perfect and I had to eat it, um, but that was a sacrifice I was willing to make. <laughs> now I'm gonna put some of my chicken in my lunch containers. My goal here is to have at least four ounces of chicken in each container. I wanted some veggies to go with my chicken and rice, so I have this bag of Brussels sprouts. I used to do this meal all the time in the beginning of my journey, but I would use broccoli, and I got so worn out of it. But anyways, I'm cooking my Brussels sprouts in the same pan as my chicken because, guys, this seasoning concoction mixture that sticks to the bottom of the pan is like the best tasting thing you've ever had in your life. So yeah, I'm going to use the same pan. I'm using just a little bit of butter to kind of help um, deglaze it, I guess. <laughs> and these Brussels sprouts are going to be so good. I wish I had more of them. Um, I didn't realize I only had like a small bag. Alright guys, please ignore my washer in the background and my dishwasher in my sink. <laughs> um, after meal prep comes cleanup. So there's a lot happening right now. But here's a look at my meals. So down here I have breakfast. I am gonna add another egg into this one and I'm gonna make two fresh eggs for this one. This meal comes out to 413 calories. There's a look at all of the details. And then back here I have lunch which comes out to 523 calories. I have four ounces of chicken breast, two thirds a cup of that cheddar broccoli rice and then three ounces roughly of brussels sprouts there's the details of that one and then over here i've got my vegetable soup going in the crock pot of course it looks kind of plain right now but once it cooks on low for eight hours it really all kind of mixes together and makes this like a beautiful veggie soup <laughs> as long as i get six servings out of this it is going to be 263 calories and there is the breakdown of that. I'm gonna pair it with some Ritz crackers and cheese. Honestly, this is a huge container of soup. This is like more soup than I've made in a long time. So I'll probably get eight to 10 servings to be honest. Um, so yeah, it might be even less calories than that. Of course, I'm gonna have a lot of snacks and sides throughout the day. This is just a look at my actual meal. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what your meal plan is for the week. Don't forget to subscribe down below and I will see you next time.